This is how I set my Panagraph quilts up. I'm going to go into Panagraph, Select and Sew Panagraph on Quilt Path, and I'm going to go to the top left corner. And I want you to notice that when I'm setting my safe area, I am setting all the way against the back bar and inside my clamp, and I'm going to hit top left. And then I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom right. Sorry about the pan issue. And once again, inside my clamps, all the way at the front, and I'm going to hit the bottom right. And that gives me the largest safe area that I can have, the place that it's actually safe for Quilt Path to move the machine. Um, the other thing that I want to show you is how I get the measurement on the width of my quilt. So on this quilt, I actually have a measuring tape sitting down here, and if you look at it, you're going to notice that it is just under 43 inches. It's like 42 and 7 eighths inches. Um, I'm going to use Quilt Path to actually measure my top, and I'm going to put a little bit of fudge room into it when I do it. I'm going to come up to my top over here on the top left, and I'm going to take the foot of my machine, my hopping foot, and put my hopping foot up against the right side of my hopping foot up against the top left of my quilt. And then on Quilt Path, I'm going to come up and use this ruler up here and I'm going to hit the left button. Then I'm going to march my machine down to the right side of the quilt. I'm going to do just the opposite. I'm going to put the left side of my hopping foot against the right side of my quilt and then come up and hit this right button. You can see that it draws a straight line for you and it actually tells you what your measurement is. And the measurement is 42.691 which is slightly less than the measurement I'm getting with my ruler. To get Quilt Path to take this, it's the button right above Applied Measure is the width of your quilt. And then if you hit Applied Measurement, it'll actually put that funny number in there for you. I'm not really concerned about the fact that Quilt Path measures a little bit different th differently than my measuring tape does. Um, it doesn't matter to me. I don't have to do the math. Quilt Path does. So as long as Quilt Path is happy, and it can do the math, I'm going to let it stick with whatever it is. For my total height, I'm actually going to put the number that I measured in. If this quilt is 60 inches long, I'm going to type in 60, say OK, and use that as my measurement.